Quentin Tarantino might just be the biggest cinephile around. Not only has he made some of the most influential films ever, but he also always goes out of his way to appreciate the works of art he loves. The esteemed director has revised his list of favorite movies, and that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. Here are 20 more films that Quentin wants you to watch. First up, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Isn't that an incredible name for a movie? This 1948 release is a super fun way to get introduced to monsters like Dracula, Frankenstein, and the werewolf. Now all Abbott and Costello films are excellent, but this one stands out. It's very fun and entertaining, and you'll have a very good time, guaranteed. It's widely regarded as one of the best horror comedy flicks, and it fully deserves it. With Halloween right around the corner, you should put this down as a must-watch. It's equally fun for all ages, and you'll quickly understand why it's one of QT's favorites. Next, Apocalypse Now. This film is a masterpiece. Francis Ford Coppola just doesn't miss it. Now this isn't a very fast-paced flick, and while the name and review make it sound like a war movie, don't expect too many action scenes. It's a psychological drama set in Vietnam, and you won't be able to look away for a second. The vibe is kind of creepy and almost surreal, and this will stay with you long after you finish it. Apocalypse Now is a story about insanity, and it perfectly delivers on that. Pro tip, make sure to watch the theatrical cut. You'll thank us later. Coming up, the bad news bears. Sports fan or not, you need to watch this 1976 release. It has a lot to say about parenting, amateur sports, and the general culture surrounding them. The lessons and takeaways from this film are as relevant today as they were all those years ago. Needless to say, it holds up perfectly. The film doesn't sugarcoat reality, but it's still thrilling, funny, and heartfelt. Watch it with your friends or do a wholesome family movie night. We promise it's worth it. Following this, Black Sabbath. We're starting to feel like Tarantino really enjoys horror films. You can't blame him, though. This is another spectacular one. Black Sabbath follows three separate separate stories, each one full of Italian horror beauty. It's frightening, impactful, and fully deserves all the love it gets. The cinematography is especially stunning. You won't have to look too hard to see how this inspired Pulp Fiction. It's got two versions, but do yourself a favor and watch the original. Not to mention, dazed and confused. Come on, this doesn't really come as a surprise. It's just one of those films everyone loves. It's a very simple and realistic film about the high school experience, and it never tries to be anything else, and it's better because of it. Dazed and Confused won't glamorize teenage life, but it's still chaotic, hilarious, and awkward. It's everything you need from a coming-of-age flick. Oh, and it was Matthew McConaughey's breakout role, so we'd tune in just for that. Up next, Deep Red. Folks, we've got another horror on our hands. This is Dario Argento's best work, and you know that's saying a lot. Deep Red is about a man who witnesses a murder and then tries to solve the mystery himself. And if that doesn't convince you, David Hemmings is exceptional as the lead. It's very explicit, the plot is rich, and the camera work is phenomenal. Quentin revealed that this movie rattled him to the bone when he first saw it. Coming up, Easy Rider. We've covered some very intense films, but this is a super easy watch. It follows two bikers as they travel through the southern parts of the United States with loads of money that they made from a recent drug deal. And it's just super charming. We gotta say, Tarantino's got taste. Moving on, Enter the Void. Look at that, we're moving into this century now. This 2009 release is an unforgettable experience. It's it's genius, meditative, and beautifully shot. We all know Jasper No is the rebel director, but he cemented his spot as a brilliant filmmaker with this otherworldly story set in the neon-soaked scene of Tokyo nightclubs. We could go on and on about how incredible this film is, but we'll leave you guys to it. Trust us, you'll come back for seconds, and thirds, and fourths. Next, Francis Ha. We all know Greta Gerwig is the director, but did you know she's just as good at acting? Noah Baumbach's flawless behind the camera, of course, and with its authentic script and super relatable lead, Francis Ha feels like a big hug. It's a film about growth and finding your path in your mid-twenties. So get a cup of tea, grab some popcorn, and let this warm your heart. Following this, The Great Escape. Speaking of films that feel super cozy, this is a classic family entertainment flick. The Great Escape is filled with patriotism, comedy, suspense, and so much chaos. It also boasts a super memorable soundtrack. It's very well written, and the acting is excellent. Director John Sturgis keeps the tension up for nearly three hours. Hours. If you need it any more convincing, it includes iconic Steve McQueen stunt riding scenes. Up next, Mad Max Fury Road, another unsurprising addition. Mad Max Fury Road is a proper cinematic experience. It's deep with so little dialogue, but never has an action movie been so intense and exhilarating. Not to mention that it's one of the most beautiful films you'll ever watch. The film got universal critical acclaim, and it has a 98% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's George Miller at his very best, and you know that's saying something. Coming up, 
Rio Bravo. For starters, it contains one of John Wayne's greatest performances, and watching him and Dickinson together is a delight. Quentin has repeatedly named this as one of his favorite movies, and it's not hard to see why. It's a proper western. Rio Bravo is about a Texas sheriff who arrests the brother of a powerful local rancher, and then has to keep the man in prison until the higher authorities arrive. We give it 10 out of 10 stars. Next, The Skin I Live In. You know those films that you absolutely need to watch more than once? This is one of them. Critics have said that Alfred Hitchcock would have made this movie if he was a 21st century filmmaker, and come on, that's the highest possible praise. Antonio Banderas has never been better than he is in The Skin I Live In. This will stick with you, and we won't blame you if you want to watch it again almost immediately. Not to mention The Social Network. Ah, uh, folks, where do we start with this one? We're not even slightly surprised that this is one of QT's top films because it's that good. It's easily one of the most memorable movies of the last century, and it fully deserves to be. From David Fincher's ingenious creative vision to Jesse Eisenberg and Andrew Garfield's stellar performances, this flick has it all. Moving on, Sorcerer. Although this William Friedkin masterpiece came out in 1977, you won't be able to tell. You'll be shocked to see how the film managed to create all these incredible sequences without any CGI. We'd even go as far as to say that it looks better than movies nowadays. Friedkin considers this his favorite and most personal work. He also stated that this was the most difficult film he had ever made. You'll understand why after you watch it, but if you ask us, it was worth it. Up next, There Will Be Blood. Well, 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 nobody should be surprised to see this here. It's old-fashioned but always relevant, and the central themes of this film are timeless. We see Daniel Day-Lewis at his very best in There Will Be Blood, and that alone should be enough. This is a story about the loss of soul and heart as a man rises to riches, and it's perfectly executed at every point. Following this, Top Gun Maverick. Maybe it's recency bias, but we'd even call this better than the original. And hey, don't come for us because QT agrees. This is the most perfect sequel ever, and it has set the bar too high for any that follow. Of course, Tom Cruise is as charming as ever, and Maverick doesn't only rely on the audience's love for the original to carry it through. It's exhilarating at every point, and while we get loads of callbacks and returning characters, it never feels like it's trying too hard. What's more, Toy Story 3. Do we even need to say more? We have to admit that Quentin's list is even better than we expected. Not only is the third Toy Story the best one in the franchise, but it also signaled the arrival of Pixar, and for that, we're always grateful. It's simply put, one of the best animated movies ever made, and it's just so complicated. Comforting. Next, Unfaithfully Yours. Folks, this is the perfect slapstick comedy. It might be our favorite from the list. There's just so much we adore about this one. Preston Sturgis was an all-arounder for this one, and he couldn't have been better. Unfaithfully Yours is a masterpiece. It's touching and hilarious, and hits all the right notes. Last but not least, West Side Story. You just can't go wrong with Steven Spielberg. It's shot to perfection, all the actors are superb in their roles, and the music is stunning. You will fall in love with this film instantly. Oh, and New York City feels like a separate character in this. We don't know about you guys, but we're giving Quentin a 20 out of 20. And that's a wrap. How many of these have you seen? Let us know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.